All right, YouTube. So we got the rear brakes adjusted. Haven't driven it yet, but we got another update here, another project we're gonna start. I'm gonna put the disc brake conversion on hold for a little bit. I wanna even the truck out. So the truck squats, okay? So if you've noticed, ever since I did the Dana 60 or one ton axle swaps, right? I have the Dana 60 in the front and I got the full floating 14 bolt in the rear. Ever since I did that, the spring perches on the Dana 60 has about an inch and a half to, to I never measured it, inch and a half to two inch riser on the uh, spring perch. So with the same suspension, now my truck's got a little squat going. So I'll bring you along and we'll do a measurement from center of fender to the ground at the front tire and center of fender to the ground on the rear tires and I'll show you, it's got a four inch or a two inch squat. So what I wanna do is two inches will even us or even the truck out and then another two will get it with a two inch rake unloaded. I wanna do a four inch suspension lift at the rear. I'm gonna take the rear springs off and I'm gonna go bring them to the local spring shop here and I'm gonna see what they recommend for either getting them arched um, or if I want to see what shape the springs are in. These springs have been patched together. I took them apart and just put in leaves. There's broken leaves. I just put in leaves that weren't broken. I just stacked what I could. I, you know, I made the truck work for being 17 years old. We'll put it that way. Let's get to it. Let's get the springs off. This is passenger side rear, 43 and an eighth. Now, so that was 43 and an eighth. Here's the passenger side front. 43 and an eighth. Oh, 44 and seven eighths. All right, guys, we got the truck jacked up. Jack stands. Had to lift it up with some blocks of wood. To remove the rear springs, the best way that I've found to do this, break free the U-bolts, nuts, while it's all, you know, tighten together and on the ground and once you get those broken free which that on this truck wasn't too bad they can come off with the impact now you'll have to cut right here on the inside between the spring hanger and the spring right in there cut the bolt in half then I grind this down completely the head off of the bolt flush with the washer and grind it down as far as you can and then punch it in bring that down and then you cut here on the the bottom part of the shackle and then you cut then you cut the other one right here and then you loosen the rear bolts all the way take them out and that's it i couldn't get in here enough with a four inch cutoff wheel on the grinder four and a half inch so we got a six inch so this, so a six inch grinding disc looks like on a regular angle grinder. It's not really safe though, because you're not used to it that big and it's not designed for it that big, but it's the only thing that'll reach up in there. So let's see if we'll get it. All right, this is the front leaf spring that I just cut. See in there, I just cut all the way through on this side, which is on the inside of the truck. Now I'm going to come over to the bolt head and just grind this bolt head off because I can't get in between here and there's a gap here. So I'll grind this bolt head off, take a punch and pound this in the, this distance and that should make this the whole spring move over a little bit and fall. All right, I ground down the head of the bolt till the washer starts moving. Should pop the spring right down.
right, got the leaf springs out finally. There's one and two U-bolts, top pad, blocks. Now, got to get the bushings out. That's going to be difficult. Let's give her a hit. Goddamn pants caught on fire. Burnt my phone. Jesus, jumping to those. What the hell else is gonna go wrong? Let's keep going. So it's like we heat it up enough, the rubber starts spewing. Now that I got that rubber and the center part of the bushing out now, I gotta get this outer part of the bushing out. I'm gonna try and sawzall it and then right down the middle and then I can peel it out of there. I can't drive it out. I got that cut most of the way and with the screwdriver, pried it in there and it'll hoping to just peel that right away. Just kept beating on that thing and get the bushing out. Got back from the spring shop. We got modified leaf springs. You can see the arch now. So they replaced two springs per pack, which equalized, well, you know, equaled them out more, staggered them better because they weren't perfect. And then they put new clamps on them. Plan is to get three to three and a half inches of increased ride height in the rear with what we did to the springs. While we were there, we got all new bolts. They're nine sixteenths by four and a half, grade eight. New bushings come, or I mean, new shackles come with the bushings into them already. Part number for these shackles. And while I was at it, we just got new U bolts. And um, these weren't terrible, I'm not going to throw them out, but we're putting all new on there, so let's just do it right, right? Going to clean up the lift blocks, I'm going to keep them, paint them up, and top pads we're going to paint up. See what we can do here, get this stuff back reinstalled. Hitting them with the grinder, getting them nice and cleaned up so I can throw some paint on them. I'm not doing anything crazy, it's going to spray bomb them, but I wanted to get some paint on there. Okay, here we go. We got springs completely reinstalled. Rear springs. Everything's done. There's the finished product. Everything painted up. Everything torqued down, the U-bolts. And we got the same thing on the passenger side. Everything's done. So 
So now after all the modifications at the rear, ground to the bottom of the fender is 46 and three quarters. And at the front, we have 44 and seven eighths. So almost two inches of rake. They're sitting way better. Minneapolis Moline in the way there, but you can see the rake. We got more stuff coming. Stay tuned.